if I had a child now, I would certainly raise my child vegan. And Thank God you have no children. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to the vegan guys with their video, All Children Should Be Raised Vegan. Let's have a look. When possible, all children should be raised vegan. It's never possible. Case closed. Let's discuss. Okay. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Paul from Those Vegan Guys. Today, unfortunately, minus my husband Jason, who's back at work. He is not your husband. A holy union can only take place when a man and a woman get together. You're playing make believe. 11 fabulous days off, uh, as our recent uploads list can clearly attest. Uh, I recently um, made a post on Facebook. I'll read you the post. Personally, I think all children should be raised vegan. I think once they are old enough to make their own choices, they should be able to, but... Quite fascinating. A homosexual teaching us how to raise children. Let's just face that fact first before we proceed at all. He's homosexual. He lives with his husband. They cannot have children, but he wants to tell you how to feed your children. Why? If you raise a child vegan and they then choose to eat meat with the knowledge of how it gets to the plate, then that's on them, their choice. No harm was done to them being raised vegan. Or was there actual harm, real harm, because those kids will be malnourished? That is the real harm. Forget about your precious animals for a second and truly think about the children. I mean, you sat down and wrote this post. Children need animal foods to flourish. A plant-based diet won't achieve that. Those children will suffer and later on when they grow up they're gonna hate their parents. But again, why do you have an opinion on this? If you My raise boy. a child as a meat eater and they then choose to be vegan once they know the facts, they can never change the fact that they have eaten meat. Mm. As a, an an opponent, an opponent, uh, excuse me, an opposite scenario doesn't exist. Therefore, children should be raised vegan. Prove me wrong. I already did. Now, I'd like to explain why I wrote that post and Please how do. the thought prep process started, because that's important as well. This is not just something I was like, but that's, and it's still not. That's my belief and that's the way it is. Da, da, da. Just because you don't have a rough tone by conveying your message doesn't mean you're not invested in your message and you don't have a strong belief. He's got his strong beliefs. You're pretending that your point is valid just because you speak like a woman. The thought came because I've seen somebody post in one of the vegan groups on Facebook Facebook that her partner had said when they have children he didn't want them raised vegan and she basically said that's a game changer for me I suppose that's it we're over and then the husband did everything right he has to instruct the woman and the woman has to follow his lead that is the order of God. If you start listening to the woman, you will be lost. Apparently, this man is not enough guidance. This is why she seeks help within those Facebook groups. Of course, she won't find any help there. She will find the vegan gays. This guy had posted this comment. And I read the co his comment. <laughs> and then I copied it. He, he basically said, um, I think it's wrong to force your child to be vegan. Uh, you should let them get to an age where they, they can choose what they want to be. And if they choose vegan, great. Um, but it's wrong to force it on them. And I, it, You come from a standpoint of having absolutely no idea how to feed a child. 
And that is alright, because you cannot have children. Simple as that. Parents that know the first thing about nutrition know, of course, that you cannot feed a child vegan. Matter of fact, you cannot feed anyone vegan because it is a deficient diet, if you want to call it that. It is essentially a cult. It is human abuse because it is not a species-specific diet. I think it's wrong to raise your child as, as a meat eater because you're forcing it on them when they get old enough. First world problems. You do understand that you can have this dialogue or rather monologue now in the West, nowhere else. It comes from privilege and it comes from being spoiled. It comes from excess. You have so much abundance that you don't even know what to eat anymore. And even worse, you don't know what to feed your children anymore. All of this stems from excess. A society that has been spoiled. A society that has gone off the rails. This is why you wear this new AG t-shirt this hairstyle and identify as a homosexual and that so i copied his post and changed that one word and then that's what led to that post because when i thought about it that's very true isn't it the, you can't get away from that fact if you've raised your child as a meat eater oh, wow. Sad. then they choose to be vegan they can never undo the fact that they've eaten meat. Yeah, but do you understand that if they grew up vegan, they can never undo the damage? If they grow up eating animal foods, at least they're going to be healthy. If they have some sort of ideological shift later on, God forbid, but well, then they can opt for veganism. However, if the parents malnourish their children, those children will grow up deficient and mentally ill. If you raise your child as a vegan and then they choose to be a meat eater, no harm was done to them being raised vegan. No harm. The British <laughs> Dietetic Define Harm Association well has done. said conclusively vegan diet, well planned vegan diets are suitable. And what is a well planned vegan diet? There is no such thing. All the vegans disagree. Is it whole food plant based? Is it 80 10 10? Is it junk food vegan? Etc. etc. You name it. There is no one properly plant diet. Aside from the World Health Organization circling back on their statements about infants being raised vegan. Look it up. So what does that mean? The experts decided that it's all right for your child and tomorrow they decide something else. The damage is already done. Humans of all ages. For people of all Look it up. That statement is false now. It is not for all ages. All ages. I'll link the article from the uh down. And again, my question is, why do you even care? What's the interest? Why do you care about other people's children? Yeah. Hey, on, in the, well, no, yeah, I'll put it in the description ridiculous. and maybe I'll link it in the first comment as well. Now, of course, then people come along and say, well, what if, what if, what if this, what if that? Is that? Firstly, let me, um, let me vegan brain fog strongly say this isn't a read this isn't a read on people who are already raising children and haven't chosen it's not a read on you at all i'm saying it's a thought you know like years ago there there was a thought that perhaps we shouldn't be in our abusing or using animals in, in any way if there's any possible way around it and so veganism was born this is like that this is just a it's a thought it's just a is it is it wrong to raise children as meat eaters how sneaky and evil this truly is hmm, just a thought just thinking about this it's nothing really serious just a thought like veganism back in the day this demonic snake like feminine aura that possessed this man is truly disgusting to Sad. Save the world and animal agriculture is a huge part of the destruction of it. All about grass-fed meat. Um, Never an option. It's, you know, a lot of people, there's all these excuses with veganism. Uh, like, what about all the small animals that are killed for crop? But it's not an excuse. If you really care about the statistics, which you don't, then you would see that it is a reality. You kill more animals when you eat a vegan diet than if you eat a grass-fed carnivorous diet. That's a fact. Um, Facts. 
and that's awful but most of the crops grown on earth are grown for animal agriculture not true either absolutely flawed numbers aka vegan propaganda as always over 80 percent of those plants fed to animals are not meant for human consumption those are waste products from the beer industry soy industry bread industry etc 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 none of those plants would ever be fed to humans look it up so it is i think it's almost 90 percent of the soy grown on earth is fed to not true 80 percent of the soy goes to china cattle to f and not for the pigs fatten them up for meat eaters not true so if you're that concerned about crops and small animals honey vegan hello and i know that some people <laughs> hello prefer the term plant-based so let's go with that then <clears throat> so, so some people say about um things like autism and uh sensory issues so uh, and uh, of course this isn't a this is a generally speaking <laughs> all children should be raised vegan let's discuss although all of us vegans carry a guilt complex that we weren't vegan sooner. All of us ex-vegans carry the same guilt. We are guilty of not dropping out sooner of veganism. So what about that? <laughs> what about that? What about that? Uh, what about that? Mm. And I know that there are ifs and buts and what's and ands. And I'm not saying... Well, man. If you're not doing it right now, you're evil. I'm saying this is a thought we all should be having. Is it, is it better to raise children vegan? It's definitely better to raise children with a strong father figure so this doesn't happen. If they choose to, be, if they choose to remain vegan, they have never knowingly participated in the use or abuse of an animal. Why not participating in the use of an animal? What's so bad about that? For consumption. Highly emotional, highly manipulative. I just Classical. think it's a really interesting, and I know it's a contentious issue. Trust me, I know that. But I think it's a really interesting. So understanding. C certainly, I don't guilt trip my mother. I'm 51 years old. I don't guilt trip, guilt trip my mother. She didn't even know a vegan vegetarian wasn't even a thing. You should forgive your mother that she recreated you in her image. She was the last. Re You're just like your mom. As in us. The same. But I made my own choices as an adult once I knew the facts. I wish that those facts had been shared with me sooner. I mean, I, mean, I really do. Now, believe me, you don't. So should all children be raised vegan? No, and not our children. You have no children. Shouldn't we be looking towards better... Better being... Better for veganism, easier for veganism more mainstream for veganism not because it's like it's not a it's not a you should be vegan it's you shouldn't be as far as as possible you shouldn't be contributing to animal abuse climate change this is sad really to see this guy like this this is not his natural state he has been traumatized as a child this is why he is the way that he is right now he truly believes by being emotional and not forcing your opinion on somebody being more passive this is how you convey your message and this makes your message right and of course he still wants to force his opinion he simply chooses a different format the destruction of the planet that's all it's more you shouldn't be doing these things and one of the answers is veganism another answer is grass-fed meat i was like oh shut up it says happy eggs on the box <laughs> seven and a bit years ago how wrong i was oh. as soon as i was willing to look into it and here i am now uh, as a vegan Fantastic. asking questions like this should all children be raised Vegan. Please stop asking those questions and ask yourself how you can change the situation that you are in right now. Why would we take you as a role model? Should manufacturers be working on textures and things of food? I mean, we're very lucky these days, actually. There's, if you're uh, allergic to soy, there are pea-based proteins. 
If you're allergic to soy and pea. <laughs> because we have no meat anymore. There are wheat based proteins. Disgusting and absolutely toxic. And there are so many fruits and vegetables and beans and legumes and, and so many wonderful things that can be. Things, not food. Made into thing, other things. Things made into other things. Welcome to veganism. Did you know you can make cheese sauce out of potato and carrot? And a thing mm, called nu delicious. nutritional mm. yeast. Yummy. There are some. The, so Poor guy, man. Even if someone is hypersensitive to textures and things, well, surely we can fix that as vegans. We can. Just like we've made it so that there are sausages and burgers and bacon and you know all wow. of these things and there are um, slightly more expensive versions and there are always affordable versions always it is no more expensive to be vegan these but it is. days no more expensive check out our budget week vlog Zah. what anyway let's let's discuss let's be polite everybody please and uh, never stoop to personal attacks or um, uh, unnecessary anger let's just let's let's talk about this if I had a child now I would certainly raise my child vegan and thank God you have no children all right and this is it long enough yet again I'm gonna cut myself off here you let me know in the comment section what do you think about this man not forcing his opinion onto your children all right guys but this is it if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and as always may god bless you all much love and peace